Hello everyone and welcome to Chateau Dreams, our family adventure of moving here to the south of France. Well, this is vlog 30 and if you wish you can go all the way back to the beginning, to when we were just leaving the UK in 2020. Well, here we are today picking up from those naughty peacocks to what happened when I got back to the chateau. Hope you all had a marvellous few days and if you like it, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much. Vlog 30. You did what while I was out? Great progress, guys, but really? So first off, I'd just like to share with you the earliest photograph we have of the castle here. And it'd be wonderful to try and get back to something that resembles this. But look at those arrows. That's the first thing I want to show you. Those are roofs with glazed sides going across the balconies and connecting the wings to the central block. Wouldn't it be fabulous to stick those back in there? Our vlog, The Hidden Room, opened after a century, shows the room on the left-hand side of the balcony and is well worth a watch if you hadn't seen it because it wasn't touched for a hundred years. Now, the photo is really grainy, but can you see anything in the roof that's unusual and that we could reinstate? What do you think? Did you find the clock? Let's just zoom in on that. Now, the clock is still there on the front of the building, but it's quite rusty and there looks to be some kind of workings inside. We know they were very serious about the clock and that it worked because let me see you, show you the size of the bells. So you can see the size of the bells on the top left there. So they really weren't kidding. I'm wondering whether it was for the whole household because obviously watches were very expensive and so were clocks when they first came into being. And um, it must have been quite useful for everyone to have the same clock. Um, or who knows, maybe the old owner was a stickler for timekeeping. Anyway... The next thing I want to show you are the two or rather three palm trees, the one in the centre and the two on the left and the right with the arrows. The ones in the flower bed still exist today and the one in the front has gone sadly. Who cares about the palm trees? Well, apparently the French did because they were planted to remind them of their overseas West Indian and Caribbean dominions. So there you go. Finally, on our little blast from the past, aside from the two people on the left-hand side, I wonder who they were, I wanted to point out the two formal flower beds at the front. Look at the stones around the outside. I really hope we can find those. In the same way that we managed with the help of Kuba and David to uncover the granite edging all the way around the inside quadrangle of the castle. It was two spade depths down, but we found them. The edge stones are beautiful and useful, and I think the flower bed stones, if we could find them, would be the same. We've got to bring in a digger for the vineyard, so who knows? Anyway, back to the story. Back to today's drama. Okay, so we think we know where the peacocks are going over there. They're growing maize at the moment, so we think that they're getting the maize probably from the floor, and there might be some mice and rats and a few baby snakes in there. So that's probably what they're doing. But anyway, I'm back home with the lovely Kira and Ruth, and also Sophie, who is just over there. And whilst we've been out, well, actually, Ruth and Kira started this this morning. They've been very, very busy. So I'm just going to show you what they've been doing, and we can tell you about it. Okay, Ruth, what are you doing, my darling? So Windows, base layer, and then we're going to wait for it to dry and then get a bit of gloss paint on it. And they're quite big windows, aren't they? Yeah, definitely need the ladder, but getting there. <laughs> it looks really, really good. If you see on that window, you can see what it used to look like and what it looks like now, because that one's only half done. <laughs> oh, can you show us, Kira? Can you take yeah. us over? Yeah. Cool. Over here. Let's go through here. So, off the top there, that's what it was like, mm -hmm. what it has been like. And so, we're trying to Paint it this color and then we'll paint it like a glossy white. So it'll look very finished, like these. It'll look the same as those. Which you guys very kindly micro porous painted and then glossed afterwards. And Sophie helped with the glossing as well. So that's really good. And we've just got to do the gold at the top. Yeah. But it's looking amazing. Thank you very much, guys, for your help. No worries. Thank you. And aren't these girls doing a grand job on the battle scarred facade? Ruth, you're onto the glossing. Onto the glossing. It's going good. <laughs> it looks really good. And the, um, oh, my mind's gone blank. The frame as well at the bottom looks really nice. Yeah, I think it just 
reflects the light off. It so does. It's so much better. Brightens the place up. <laughs> I think it does. I yeah. think it does. Yeah. You can still see the bullet holes on the side, but there we go. And Kira's doing exactly the same. Is it nice each of you having a window each to do? Yeah, I think it's good. No, you like it. You like it. No <laughs> arguing over <laughs> who's done what. Not that you guys would argue anyway. You get on very well. You're going so brown, both of you. <laughs> I think you mean red. <laughs> no, brown. Well, on the filter, it looks brown. So <laughs> <there we> go. <laughs> Well done, Ruth and Kira. Thanks so much for all your help. I don't know about you, but I think it's looking an awfully lot better. Just need to do, decide what to do about the bullet marks in the walls. But hey, that's okay. We're on the way. A tale of many shutters. Depending upon the style of your chateau, shutter painting is just a part of everyday life, an eventuality. And the size of said shutters, well, that's just potluck, really, depending on your particular castle. Naturally, with increased size and number come increased renovation costs. But it's not just a chateau thing. Beautiful shutters are seen all around France in the countryside. And I really love them. Now, you have choices. Obviously, you can just take them off and forget about them and not have the maintenance. Or you can restore them. Or if you're a billionaire, I guess, on a castle, then you could, or a chateau, you could obviously have them all re made and made. Not so for us. Each of the shutters on Chateau de la Bataille are nine feet tall. And on the front elevation, we have 43 of them. So it's a job we're doing slowly. Because, well, frankly, there are other things to get done here. But anyway, the time has come to attack the first floor. We're awaiting the electrical engineer to come and fix the cherry picker, so I'm not quite sure, having just got back from the peacocks, how these are on the floor. So here's our cherry picker in action. She came over to France, had some electrical problems which were fixed, and unfortunately those have resurfaced. So we're just waiting for the electrical engineer to give us a date so we can jumpstart her and take her to the garage. But yes, we do need her back on the road. However, cherry picker or no, not to be thwarted, the shutters have come down. Um, as I said, this happened while I was out going and organising the peacocks. But in the meantime... We have been sanding the shutters, putting microporous paint on them and repainting them in this bespoke colour, specifically chosen to go with the wisteria and also the hydrangeas when they come out too. Happily, it does by chance also match one of the colours in the princess tree flowers when they come out. So that's a relief. Being very old and handmade, we have also numbered the shutters in chalk so we know which set is which. Or at least that's the idea. OK, so Ross has got the shutters down and you can see what the chateau looks like without the ones, well, most of the ones on the first floor here. Can I come and hold on to your belt, Buckle?
Needless to say, I'm really, really not happy about the safety element of this. I wish we could just wait for the cherry picker. But anyway, um, there we are. So this one has to go on, clearly. And then after this set, I, you know, we're just going to have to wait for the cherry picker because it's just far, far, far too dangerous, as you can see. And this is just the process for one single shutter, which is why I've shown it to you from start to finish so you can have a look at it. So this is what they were up to when I got back from the peacocks. Okay, so definitely waiting for Cherry the Cherry Picker. But in the meantime, four sets of shutters up. Two sets of shutters to go up on the first floor. And one set of shutters to be down and painted. And on the second floor on this side, three sets to be painted. So we're getting there. Well done, everybody. This, this is more recent and for another time. But in the meantime, I hope you're all well. Lovely to see you again. And I hope you enjoy the episode. Bye.